All right, we're going to configure VLANs on Cisco Packet Tracer. So let's get started. These are the instructions we're going to be doing. Paste them in here. Make it a little neater. All right, so I'm going to draw the network and do all this. Let's do it. I'm going to do four computers. They're going to be on two VLANs. So two will be able to, uh, two pairs will be able to communicate with each other, but not with the other two. So two switches and four computers. So these two are going to be on the same switch, but not able to communicate with each other. These are going to be on the same VLAN and able to communicate, even though they're separated by a switch. Link them up. I don't think I'm quite going in order. I'm going to call this one 10 for fun. All right, let's label them just so you can see them a little better. 192.168.0 is going to be our network. This will be one, this will be two, three, and four. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and configure the IP addresses on the computers themselves. One tab I'm doing to get it to auto configure the subnet mask. Two three and Four. Okay, so at this point, all of these should be able to communicate with each other. So this is our attempt to ping fail test. The ping will succeed, but we'll consider that a failure because we don't want it to succeed. So this will be able to ping all three of these. Ping 192.168.0.3. That's good. That's good. Good meaning bad, and those pings are successful. So all of those are successful. Let's get in here and configure the switches. We're going to configure the VLAN numbers and names, the access ports, and the trunk port. All right, you can do that on both sides. Oh, before I go any further, I'll show you a thing here in options preferences. Always show ports, probably my favorite thing, so that I don't have to like drag over top of it to see what port it is. But let's configure. Enable, conf T. We're going to go into SGNetMinet 01 and 02 first. Oh, wait, now we're going to do the, the VLANs first. Should draw my VLAN so that we understand what's happening. Label the VLAN. VLAN 10 for no reason. VLAN 20 for equally no reason. All right, so these two are going to be in VLAN 10, these two in VLAN 20. So they should be able to communicate, but not with these other VLANs. Back we go. Now we have a, a better picture. So we're in configuration. Uh, let's do the VLAN. VLAN 10, we're going to name it T 10, T-E-N, VLAN 20, name 20. All right, so we configured the VLAN. Now we need to configure the interfaces. Interface fast Ethernet 01. This is switch port mode access. And this VLAN on this access port is 10. And we're going to hop over to interface 
to switch port code access. And this one is VLAN 20. And then we need to configure the trunk port here. That's interface, fast Ethernet 010. Switch port mode. So we could do uh, dynamic uh, desirable or uh, what is that, DTP, dynamic trunking protocol. But we'll just configure it as a trunk. So it's trunk now. Let's do switch port trunk allowed VLAN 1020. We're going to allow 10 and 20 on there. Okay. I think we're done over here. Switch it on over. Have some fun on this switch. What are we doing here? Enable conf T. Uh, let's do name the VLANs. VLAN 10. Name 10, VLAN 20, name 20, and now let's get into the interfaces. That's statement is 0, uh, 1, and switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN 10, this is this here, 10. Go down to the bottom one, fast Ethernet 02, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20. All right, so we got the access ones. Now we need the fast Ethernet 10 for the trunk. Interface fast Ethernet 010, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk allowed. VLANs 10, 20. That should do it. Now we should be able to ping this. This PC3 should only be able to ping PC1 while not being able to ping uh, whatever these numbers are. So let's see. Can it ping successfully to the one it should? It can. Can it ping to the ones that it shouldn't? It cannot. It ping to the other one that it shouldn't. It cannot. So we have succeeded. All right. Thanks for watching.